The aim of this project, uh, the, the things we want to do for patients is actually to restore vision to patients where vision has been lost. So if you have a retinal disease in which the photoreceptors have degenerated for one reason or another, your eyesight will be diminished. You can even go blind. So what we want to do is that we want to restore part of that vision. We've been working with the retinal transplantation here in Lund for, I would say, almost 20 years now. Uh, so we've had a lot of experience on the biological side of, of the problem and um, in the end, end 90s, beginning 2000, we uh, had a breakthrough when we started to transplant retina as a whole sheet because what that gave us was a um, possibility of, of getting transplants that would survive for a long time and uh, that would also develop the cells we need, the photoreceptors, very nicely. But the one remaining problem before we can go to clinical trials is that the new surviving retina does not contact the old sick one, so the, tr the signals from the transplants are not propagated to the, uh, the old retina. And this is where the collaboration with MIT comes in because um, they're expert in all kinds of materials and especially the nanotechnology side is very well developed. So what we started about two years ago is a collaboration where we said that we wanted uh, to put in not only a transplant but we also wanted to put in an artificial membrane that would act as a barrier for the old retina. And what we did, the purpose of this was that we want all the sick cells in the old retina to die. Then we have a better chance of integration of transplant and the, the old host retina. The collaboration is working very well. We've already publications out and um, this later this spring we'll do our first animal research with what we, which what we call the compound transplant. That's a transplant co composed of biological retina together with this, the manufactured uh, nanotechnology membrane from MIT.